Eliza Zachary is one of the more important athletes in recent Georgia State history. The 6'2 middle blocker from Minnesota ranks 8th all-time in school history for kills. Zachary said the college experience opened her eyes to different perspectives in life. Just coming here volleyball wise, you know, you always want to come in and change the program and put your mark on the program. Obviously, winning the Sun Belt Championship is a goal and going to the NCAA is like the big goal and sadly didn't get to accomplish that. But I think um, my goals changed throughout my experience here into being more of a, a role model to my teammates and how to live their lives instead of, you know, always focused on winning. And I think that's just a part of maturity. One can say Zachary was born with athleticism. She comes from a family that features college football and NFL players, including her father, Lewis. Both of her parents, however, understood Zachary's athletic potential from an early age. We tried basketball and it didn't work out very well and decided we'd put her in volleyball. She had the, she's always been taller than everybody else, so it's just a matter of cultivating that and letting her figure it out. Yeah. Yes, Eliza was in a size 2T at the age of 1. So she was always very, very tall. So we figured, uh, why not use that gift, right? And she was quite coordinated on the volleyball court. So even, I think she started playing volleyball when she was, what, 12, 13? Yeah. And Zachary took the game to some of its highest levels, becoming a Division One athlete at Georgia State. In 2012, Zachary became a member of the All-CAA rookie team. She also led the team with 23 solo blocks as a freshman. In her sophomore and junior seasons, she started in all of the Panthers' matches. In 2013, Zachary won MVP of the USC Upstate Tournament. She also had the highest hitting percentage on the team that year. After making the all Sun Belt Sega team in 2014, Zachary was ready for one last run. But in a September 2015 home match against Kennesaw State, she tore her ACL. It was the first month of her senior season. Um, man, that was kind of an interesting moment for myself. Honestly, I was just like in pain. So hobbling to the bench was just like, oh my gosh, like this hurts so much. But um, just in shock, I guess. My body went into shock. I went into shock. And um, just kind of being like, OK, like what's the next step? I'm always someone like, I'm not going to dwell on this moment. Like, what is the next step? And um, just thinking about, OK, like if this is it, hopefully I can get a red shirt. If my career is over, I'll be pretty sad. But <laughs> you know, um, and just uh, really focusing on my team, I think, in that moment. That game, I was so inspired by the fight my team put in. And um, to the point where I was like in tears, like probably a little emotional, too, <laughs> from the injury. but. Um, um, I was just so proud of them, like coming back up in the second set, I think, after they were like testing my stability and my knee out in the training room and seeing that they were up and just fighting with everything they had um, just really brought me to tears because like my team truly loved me and like wanted to win that game for me. It might have not worked out the way that we wanted it to, but um, those girls are my everything. They always have my back in tough situations. The NCAA did grant Zachary a medical red shirt so that she would have one more year of eligibility. Zachary leaned on her faith to get her through the rehab process. Um, my faith is just like everything. I lean on him in times of doubt. I lean on him in times of celebration, like right now, <laughs> just thanking him for everything he's done for me and just seeing um, through every adversity I've faced in life, he just brings beauty out of it. and. Um, with my injury, he showed me a whole different side of the game. He showed me a whole different side of myself and that even in times of doubt, like he's redeeming you in everything that you do and making things beautiful. The most part of Eliza's joy is her relationship with Jesus Christ. That's huge for her. And that is what got her to get better. I mean, I think that she just, you know, used her faith to get her through the tough times for sure. Beyond her obstacles on the court, Zachary also faced a hurdle in the classroom. Uh, we didn't realize that Eliza had ADD until she was probably in second or third grade. We realized that there were some issues. We weren't quite sure what. Um, they didn't know that I had ADD and uh, so it was a very big struggle. Um, They're going to hold me back in like each grade and it was very like a big self-confidence thing that I think I really struggled with then. And um, so we brought her to the doctor and got her tested and sure enough she had ADD which explained a lot and she was put on medication and given the opportunity to work with some special ed staff and she was 
doing great by sixth grade. She was in regular programs and doing really great. She got straight A's in middle school and high school and did very well for herself. She's a hard worker. And um, to just have people kind of telling me like, oh, you're not going to be able to do this, you're not going to be able to do that, and you're not smart enough to be in these classes. And so I just took that as a resistance from people, and I just took that and harnessed it and really tried to become like a hard worker, self-determined. And once they did find out that I had ADD, they put me in special needs classes because I um, was so far behind in my reading levels and math levels. and. <laughs> Little, little me was like, no, like I'm not staying in here. So um, after two years of having to go through that and um, having to try and like get my reading levels back up, I took that and I was like, you know what, I'm going to take my homework home. I'm going to sit there until I get it right, until I have the same abilities as everyone else in my grade. And in middle school, I was able to get out of those classes. And all throughout middle school, I got all A's. Um, and it wasn't until about middle school when I was able to um, understand like how I learn because I think everyone learns differently but when you have a learning disability yours is a lot different than how other people learn and if you don't have good teachers that can cater to that it really affects your self-confidence and ability to you know harness that I guess and um, so in middle school I really started to learn about myself and my self-determination and how I have to spend a lot more time on studying materials than my friends do and um, once I learned how to kind of time manage myself in sixth grade, which is like unheard of, um, I was able to pick up sports. And once I was able to do that, I had confidence in my time management skills to be able to balance grades and sports. And um, once I got into volleyball, fell in love with it, I knew it was my life passion. And um, it took me here to go to college on a ride. Like that's insane to me that I got that opportunity and to be able to balance school and volleyball has been crazy difficult and then my injury last year led me to have to double major in marketing and finance which is something that I never thought I could do. Um, math is not my strong suit <laughs> and so why I choose finance because I was like you know what? I'm going to challenge myself. I want to learn how to do this. I want to understand the numbers and it was very challenging but I'm very happy and proud of myself for pushing myself to do um, what people didn't expect me to and what people said was impossible. So. I'm very like excited about graduating and very humbled by the opportunities that Georgia State has given me and just kind of like a little pat on the back like you did it. <laughs> Zachary now has an internship in Atlanta and plans to play overseas afterwards. She hopes to continue to go as far as the game and hard work will take her. From the GSU Sports Arena and for Primetime Sports, I'm Rashad Milligan.